Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to hack Soul Calibur 5 using Hex Edit on the computer. First of all, before you can do any of this, you need a USB stick what's already configured on the Xbox with a Soul Calibur 5 game save on there, preferably your own. And then you, I'm going to put all these links in the description and you need to download everything from up here upwards. Down here is Dragon's videos, which is very good. Yeah, which it's very good at what it does. And after you download all the files, preferably put them all into one folder. Like I have here, and this is everything you should have. First you want to um, download and install 7-zip. Um, I've already got that, so I'm not going to show how to do that. But I will show how to install H HXD. Just need to open it zip folder. No, sorry, tell a lie. You want to press Control click on all of these. Left click. Right click and extract here. Then all the zip folders will take out everything they need. That's everything. It's just click on setup.exe. So you're going to see some jump jump cuts every now and then. But this is this software for some reason is in Spanish, but you don't need to worry about it. It works all the same, and you don't really need to look at information anyway. So click the bottom, have the bottom box text ticked, and then it should open. And then what you want to do is open Modio, Explore Device. Um, insert your USB stick. If I can even fit it in. There we go. And just open and close a drive. Don't know what Modio is doing today, but it's being a pain. Oh well. And then you want to go into your. That, this is your profile ID. And then to go into Soul Calibur and then open up save. Just for the purpose of this tutorial, this is my save file anyway, which was gave you a lot, so you can do whatever you want with it, use it or whatever. Just click and drag it into here. And just close this. And now your save file is in here. Well, in the in the, in the folder you want to organise for yourself. And then you want to go Open the Mario, no, not Mario, sorry, HXD. Open up to where your way to save your save file, preferably away from the folder you just used. Like my, for instance, instance is here. And then I'm only going to show you some basic stuff for now because you need to know how to put the save back onto your USB stick properly anyway, so there's no point showing you everything happening at the end and not know what to do. In in between sort of thing. So oops. I was gonna show you some couple of simple things for now. For example, I was gonna go over here. You must press Control F and type in for the name of your character. But sometimes if you have multiple names of the same character press F3 again until it comes back up. Further down which basically it goes to the next result. Basically if you type over this name here like blah 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 blah. That's what the character's name is going to be, and I'm pretty sure you can have it. Up, oh, never mind. About this long altogether, but it will keep on going all, all over the screen and mess everyone's names up, which is kind of funny. But it's up to you, really, whatever you do. And you can't press backspace on this, you have to press Ctrl Z or Z if you're American. Um, to go back to what you last did or overwrite it. So I'm just going to undo all this. And then I'm going to show you some very simple stuff to start off with, which you mainly just want to use anyway, just for weapon swaps. That's what I'm going to show you. You want to hold, no, well you want to left click, sc scroll up, and use the mouse wheel if you have to go the fastest. Until we hit these wires here, seven rows of wires, or seven seven letters of wires in a row. Scroll back down to the very bottom of it until you get a single Y. And you want to open up this list here, 
or I've gave you a link. And basically this contains all the fighting styles here. And this contains the models which I'll show you in the next video. Which will be in about a few minutes or so. And then this is position codes which I'll show you in another video again. Um, how to make your female characters braless basically so you can see the yeah, self explanatory. And this is the different voice bites to change the character's voice, which I could show in this tutorial as well, which is pretty quick and simple. And this I've never actually done before, but it should be fairly easy enough to do to show you. So yeah. Anyway, since it's Siegfried, his fighter style is O3. So you want to go to this Y here, the first one from this group of Ys. I look for the number O3, which is here. And you can change that fighter style to anything you like. For example, I'm good with. Well, yeah. I'm good with Ashtroth, which is 07. Let's change that to 07. Oh, no, not 73. 07. Actually, no, forget that. Um, with characters like Siegfried and Nightmare, they, you can get the Soul Calibur for weapons like the Soul Calibur and the Soul Edge from that game. So I'm going to do Siegfried 03 again. No, I want to change it to Nightmare 06. And you go Misty Serious here, and this is the position of what, well, this is what item you're using in that style. But if you put 08 for Siegfried or Nightmare or any female character, it will give you the Soul Calibur or the Soul Edge. And just press Control to save that. You know, and scroll back to the top. I'm going to show you how to do the voice codes. But that's pretty much going to be it for this video. My computer's being a bit slow whilst I'm recording, so it's not that helpful. Oh dear. And there we are, back to the top. Back to the top. Uh, I'm going to pause this. Right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Bloody dual core computer. Right, if you open that folder again, I mean, um, text file, you'll find this voice styles here. And basically, since I'm using Siegfried, that's 07. So here it is at the top. Because this is the character model codes and information about the character. This is stuff like physique from about here to here I think never mind I'll, I'll tell you again later and then basically you want to go for number 03 and change it anything you like I'm not sure if Tira's gloomy voice is listed yeah it's listed so I could put down a nightmare's voice if you want to nightmare style so all I need to do is stop for Nightmare on this list, which is 11. Change 07 to 11. And there you go. you got a Nightmare sounding and style using with a Soul Edge. Siegfried. Pretty much Nightmare. And then after you've done that, make sure you save. You don't have to close this. Um, open up Modio. Open a save, and then go up to the where your file was, where you saved your game. Oh, wrong folder. I'm not very good at this, am I? And I got the save file here. You definitely need to click rehash and resign, otherwise your save will never load and always crash on upon startup. And you want to click save to device. If it's not in, just put it in and press, this is like a refresh symbol here, you press that. Double click it or press select. This is, will take a shorter time, this is I'm recording on a dual core computer so it's going to be really slow. And bam, you're done. So you stick it into your Xbox, load it up through USB stick, and then you got your mods. Um, any questions 
ask me in the comments or private message. I got my email sent to my phone, so any messages I get, I'll respond to them as soon as I can. Happy modding.